everybody, welcome to the Ocarina of Time item randomizer. My name is Tresco and I'm gonna give you an updated version 6.2 web tutorial to generate your very own Ocarina of Time item randomizer playing seed. Since the last tutorial that we did for version 5.0, the OT randomizer interface and website did not change much. So if you already know how to play OTR, this video will not give you a lot of information. However, if you just start out and want to see and live the fascination that is OT randomizer, this video is for you. In the process, you will learn what you need, how to play, how to generate, more about the Discord for OT randomizer, and see a first start from generation to playing a seed on Project 64 as an example, from start to finish. Let's dive in, shall we? So what you will need first, you will need an Ocarina of Time version 1.0 NTSCU or NTSC JROM. No matter what, you will need this all the time. On top, if you need to play on Wii or on Virtual Wii or on Dolphin, which is another emulator, you will need an Ocarina of Time version 1.2 NTSC what file plus the official Wii common key. Note in big red letters, this is a a situation of copyrighted material. All of this you will have to find yourself. We will not be able to help you and we won't help you to find these things. These are property of Nintendo. I need to repeat this a couple times. Property of Nintendo. We cannot help you to find these. You might find hints here or there, maybe even during this video, but that's all we're gonna do. Please do not ask. We won't help. We can't help. For the safety of everybody. Additionally, you will need a device with a multi-core CPU and at least, and I say at least, 2 gigabytes of available RAM. This can be a phone, at least as long as it's from 2019 or later and not a super low budget phone, or a PC or a Mac with, res uh, with about normal specs. Additionally, you will need a modern browser, which can be anything since 2022, basically, or uh, 2020, basically, sorry. It can be Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Safari, Opera. You all know the drill. There's Brave. There's a few more options. If they support modern web technology, they will work. This is just for generation, though. OT is not, OTR is not a thing that you can just download and play. It's just a file. It's not an executable. So you're on top, you will need a platform to play on, and these are your options. You can either play on emulator, which is a tool for PCs, for Macs, for phones even, that will play a certain file. In this case, our OTR seed. For Windows, you have a ton of options. Project 64, version 3.0 or later. Bishawk, RetroArch, which is also available on other platforms. And also Dolphin, which is a Wii and GameCube emulator, which will also play OTR, however, in V Virtual Console mode. You can also play on console. If you have the N64, you will need an EverDrive, which is a module for it, and the official N64 expansion pack. You can also play on Wii Virtual Console or on the Virtual Wii mode for the Wii U, for those of you that have one. Note that these consoles will need a soft mod to be able to play OTR. We will link a video or a, um, an FAQ on how to do this in the description, but that's all we can really do. We cannot provide support on how to soft mod your console. As a first hub and a big, big community for all this, we have the OOT Randomizer Discord. You can find this via discord.ootrandomizer.com. It's the main hub and the biggest community for OOT Randomizer. You will find it's a gigantic Discord server that will basically have everything. Help about support, help about setups, gameplay strategies, tournament planning, special event planning. It will have all the resources that you need, cool community stuff like an amazing podcast, like turn side tournaments, like challenge seats, all this kind of stuff, different rule sets, pretty much everything you can imagine. Please check out the Discord. Make sure to read the rules because these are important. For example, don't ask about ROM files or don't distribute them, it's in there. And also check out the resources tab, which will give you a ton of links about pretty much everything you can imagine. 
There also might be a hint here for something you need, but that's all we can say. Um, so if you want to find out more about OTR, this is where you want to be. We are looking forward to see you there. All right, let's dive in. So this is the OT Randomizer website. OTRandomizer.com is basically all you need to get going and start OT Randomizer yourself. This is the starting site, the index page, and there is just one thing that's really important for you right now, and this is the play now button. So let's hit the play now button and see what we have here. All right, so this is your generation page. This is where basically the magic happens. This is your interface that you will need to play OTR. This is also available as a downloadable version if you click on downloads in the upper corner up here. Under instructions help, you will basically see all that I will tell you right now or later. And we don't need that right now. So let's see what we have. The first tab that we have is the ROM options tab. It's your starting point. Really important for you as a beginner, there are settings presets. So basically presets that the community created and crafted for you to get going. As a newcomer, I always recommend that you start with easy mode, which is an, a preset that will give you an easy start. There's also other options, even really hard options, but for beginners, easy mode is really recommended. Even if you know Ocarina of Time, don't go too harsh on yourself for the first time. Hit the preset you want, hit load, all you need. You always want to create a spoiler log. Spoiler logs are just basically an instruction set on how to solve a seed, where all the items are, how the hints look like, and so on. Even if you don't want to spoil yourself, Make sure to create it, just don't check it. If you get stuck, we cannot really help without a spoiler log. On the other tabs, you can find something about the actual settings. The main rules, which um, decide how the world is structured, how the world is opened up for you, how the world is shuffled. You can even shuffle the entrances. So for example, if you take uh, shuffle overworld entrances, by the way, if you hover over the options, you will see a tooltip. Basically, most entrances in the world of Ocarina of Time randomizer, for example, overall entrances like entering Hyrule Castle can be switched to something else. Entering Hyrule Castle could bring you to Kokiri Forest or even to the Gerudo region or to Lake Hylia. It's all an option. You can do stuff like adding Master Quest dungeons, you can shuffle in different stuff besides the items, like the shops can be shuffled, the tokens, the golden skeletal tokens can be shuffled across the world, and so on. And you can also shuffle dungeon items like the keys, for example, or maps and compasses, if you want to use them. There's also a logic rules option, which allows you to even put glitch stuff into logic. Logic is basically the base concept that keeps the seed together and makes sure it's possible to solve. And this can be done in several ways. For a beginner, you want to use glitchless for sure. There's also a randomized option, by the way. Detail logic goes a little deeper. You can actually exclude any check you want from the game. A beginner will likely remove the 40 and 50 golden skull rewards in Kakariko or the Gerudo Fort Fortress horseback archery 1500 points goal and so on. It can also enable tricks. This will mean this will this means that basically the trick that you enable will be in logic so it could potentially cause this trick to be required for you to reach a certain item or progression starting items is self-explanatory and on other you can find certain time savers misc stuff like the hint system which will basically equip the um, gossip stones that you can find across the world with interesting uh, trivia and helpful hints about the seed that you're currently playing. You can change the damage, you can change the starting time, all this kind of stuff. Um, and then there's also the cosmetics tab. OTR does not have custom models. You cannot play as another character, but you can change all the different colors. You can even change stuff like Navi coloring, the sword trail, and so on. You can randomize all of this and you can also change the sound effects, like the background music, like the low hearth, uh, uh, health points beep, 
all this kind of stuff. For now, we're just gonna do something crazy and change the menu cursor to a medium fanfare, just because it's fun. All that's left is to hit generate seed. There's also the option of generate race seed. You will not really need this when you start out. It's basically just for races. It will encrypt the seed and also hide the spoiler lock by default to make racing cleaner and easier to monitor. In most cases, you want generate seed. So let's click generate seed. A seed generation will take about 15 seconds, depending on the workload on the website. It might take a little longer, but it's not a long task. After it's done and you're about to see this, you will be greeted with the actual seed page. You can see this on seed get in the URL. This is the page that gives you the OOT randomizer seed. If you want to share this seed with your friend, don't need to share the ROM. You can just share this page and say, okay, here, download it yourself. It will also give them the option to use their own custom cosmetics and SFX, which is why these two are, tabs are back here. So if you want to change them after generation, go ham and find out what you want. Besides that, you only need to do what I showed you earlier. There's a base ROM option here. Just enter your Ocarina of Time version 1.0 NTSC URJ ROM here, and that's all you need to do. If you want to play on V Virtual Console, of course, there's more. Um, so you need to add the word file and the comment key, as I told you. This on top here is the seed hash. It will basically be a is a is a code that shows you which seed am I playing. It will also be shown in the actual OT file select. So when you play with your friend, both of you can make sure at any point that you are playing the same seed. That's all it is for. The spoiler lock, as I told you, will give you all the information about the seed you rolled, including the prices, where all the items are. For example, we can see that in Kokiri Forest, in Mido's house, in the top left chest, there's 20 rupees. And there's a playthrough, which is basically one way of solving the seed, even though if it might not be optimal. Where if the hero, for example, is something to do with hints and will explain you which locations you need to see to actually solve the seed, and so on and so on. Well, further ado, let's actually patch the seed. So let's go to my little folder that I prepared for this occasion. And you can see I dumped my own Ocarina of Time NTSC ROM, which is basically the way you should do it. And we're just gonna drag it in here and we're gonna hit patch ROM. That's all. It will take a couple seconds depending on your PC. That's why you need a bit of RAM. It will take a little longer. In my case, it will be really fast, not even take five seconds. By the way, in the back, you can just see the settings that you actually rolled, like you set them. Now we have the OTR ROM file. As you can see, um, there's a number in here, which is the same number that you can see in the seed URL. So this is basically giving you the ID of the seed plus a string representation of your settings. So let's save this. And that's all. You've done it. You're ready to play OTR. Well, kind of. Because now you need a platform, as we talked about. So with, for that, let me show you and introduce you to the OT Randomizer Wiki, an amazing platform of knowledge created by our very own volunteers in the community and basically an endless resource of answers and information about OT Randomizer. You can find everything here. Randomizer setup information, emulator and platform information, controller setups, multi-world, which is a special mod to play with multiple people in a special environment, Racing setups and rule sets, something about item trackers, and then even more information about the details of OTR, like the logic that I talked about earlier, dungeon requirements, locations, all this kind of stuff. Here you will find an emulated setup page, and today we're gonna use Project 64 version 3.0 as an example. Project 64 vastly increased since uh, its release of version 3.0, so we recommend it now. It's the easiest to set up on Windows, and definitely the easiest to get into. So let's click the link and we'll bring you to the Project 64 page which will explain everything, even how to set up your controller. So let's click the download Project 64 link. We go there, it will bring us to the PJ64 website. Hit download now for the installer and it will download and we're gonna download it as well. And after it's downloaded, we're actually gonna do the install. So as you can see now, 
here and we'll make this a little bigger. It downloaded the setup file, so let's set up and let's execute. And now we are in the setup of project 64. We hit next. We select the path that we want to go to. So we go to my tutorial folder that I created and hit next. Create a desktop icon. I don't want that. And we hit portable mode in my case because I want to be the uh, want the settings to be in the folder that I just install. It's a little cleaner in this case. You don't need it. Hit next. And the emulator will be installed. That's all you need. And now we can start Project 64. Let's do that. And it will start Project 64. As you can see, it starts with a welcome screen. So we want to set up a game, to, uh, game directory. We don't need to do that, but in our case, it's cleaner. It will instantly show you all the seeds or all the ROMs in your folder. And as you can tell, we recommend Glide N64, which Project 64 video for really old devices is an option. All right, let's hit OK. And note, you see this page, but also this disclaimer popping up um, that I currently cannot show you because... Um, it's kind of stuck in OBS. Um, I will still try to get this on the screen. There you go. So this is your Project 64 disclaimer. It's a free tool and will be a 30 second counter before you can use it. It's a good piece of software if you want to support it. You may consider it. All right, after this is done, um, we can actually continue and let's go back to Project 64. Let's make this big actually. And um, so what we want to do, only want to really do two options or two things. Um, we need to go to the graphics settings in my case and set the window to be a little bigger because else it's really small. And then actually I'm going to make it smaller again um, like this, a little cleaner. And then we're also going to set up the controller. So. We could uh, just go ahead and um, use a controller, but in my scenario, I will just use the keyboard for now because it's possible. Or no, I'm actually going to use my controller. All right, so let's set up my controller in a way it's feasible. Just quickly, up, down, left, right, uh, the C stick, B and A, the triggers. Z trigger and start and that's all you need and confirm and now we have our seed you can see it again we had it earlier now we bring up the seed and we just hit twice and as you can see there it is OOT randomizer it's there and just now you already know it worked because it shows OT randomizer, we hit start. And now if I click any button, remember I set my SFX. You can tell it worked. On top, you will also see the seed hash. It's stored the mushroom. It ends with the uh, paper rate, as we call it in OTR. And if we check that on the page itself, it's identical. So you're now ready to play OT. You can just start a file. And hit go, you will actually get an item overview here. And let's start, yes. And that's all. That's all you need to know. You are now ready to play OOT Randomizer. Check out OOTRandomizer.com, Discord.OOTRandomizer.com, Wiki.OOTRandomizer.com. And I hope you all learned something. Thank you all for watching. My name is Tresco from Zelda Speedruns. We do plenty of tournaments and special events across all of Zelda. Also, a lot of OT randomizer. If you want to check us out, see you there. Twitch.tv slash Zelda Speedruns. Thank you all for watching and enjoy OTR.